Welcome or welcome back at uh, I need help at C squared. In this example, we're gonna use uh, what is called logistic growth to model this uh, population of uh, white tail deers. Uh, and we know this is the equation that models this population. Um, on part A, we need to find out how many deer will be pre present after uh, four years, which means simple t equals four, or in other words, p of four, if you want to call it like that, that will be okay. And that will be 180 over 1 plus 14 times e to the power of negative 0.5. And remember, T stands for 4 in this case. And a calculator can do the math in this moment. You can simplify if you want, but I have a TI 30 XS multi view. That's what I'm going to use. You can use a Casio, you can use any other calculator and uh, see how much you get. You may want to try it. So let me put in the calculator now, 180 divide by, in my calculator I will open a parenthesis, 1 plus 14, and I will need to put that e to the power of negative 0.5 times 4. Let me close the parenthesis, and I end up with 62.18. I will say just 62. Uh, after four years, the population of uh, this deer is 62. Uh, part B, part B, we have to find the carrying capacity. The carrying capacity is right here. Okay, and that will be M. That's the way we call it M will be 180. Part C, we have to find how many years it will take for that group of uh, deers to grow to 85. So in fact, what we have now here, we have P of T 85 equal 180 over 1 plus 14 times e to the power of negative 0.5 t. This is an equation where we need to find this t. Uh, probably I, uh, if uh, the fastest way I will kind of do a cross multiplication. In fact, I will, I will switch the things here and I will have 1 plus 14 e to the negative 0.5 t equals 180 over 85 and then I will subtract 1 from here and I will have 14 e to the negative 0.5 t equals 180 over 85 minus 1 of course you can simplify the right side of the list. And the last step will be to divide by 14 the whole thing. Okay, I mean, in fact, that's not really the last step. We still have to do a couple steps. This is the last step to solve for this e to this exponent. And we have this wonderful expression. I know it looks scary for some of you. But it is a number which you can evaluate eventually if you want. Now we're going to logarithmate, we use base e, so we're going to have here negative 0.5t if we logarithmate equals the natural log of this ugly expression, long expression in fact, let's be, let's say like that. Okay, and obviously the last thing will be to divide by negative 0.5 and we have t. 
Okay, so I'm gonna say it like this. Negative one point zero five. Look, you see, I uh, multiply by negative one point zero five both sides, and natural log of this expression one hundred and eighty over eighty five minus one over fourteen. So be careful, this uh, long expression is a natural log. That's probably the first thing I will do. And I'm going to grab the calculator and I'll do natural log of, uh, again, it is a fraction, so 180 divided by 85 uh, minus 1, that's it will be for the numerator of this fraction. And then the denominator is that 14. Close the parentheses. I will say let's do that in this way. And I end up with a negative 2.52 divided by negative 0.5. And I end up with a negative 5.05. So it looks like t in my case is 5.05 years. Well, I will round it to 5 years, I guess. That will be a good way for this problem. Okay, if you enjoy this uh, example, don't forget to click the like button. Come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.